How do you buy unsearched roles? We're going to discuss this. We're going to go into some details. We're going to talk about unsearched roles and what to look for and how to find them or can you find unsearched roles? So stay tuned. <laughs> The first thing I noticed when I started buying and selling on eBay about 20 years ago was unsearched lots and rolls and estate lots. And they're very enticing. There's nobody that doesn't want to find something unsearched, like a bunch of coins to find something good in it. I really, I was, you know, not even 30 years old. So I'd been in this business for a while and never really thought that uh, there would be so many people that would tout something as unsearched and they're not telling the complete truth or that they're not unsearched. You know, I'd looked through a lot of roles and never found anything special, but I thought with this being worldwide, there's got to be some unsearched roles. This is, this is it. I mean, I thought this was, you know, how it was. This is how it's going to be. Man, what this eBay opened up the entire world to all the unsearched stuff that I've never seen, you know, that I have not had my hands on. Well, it couldn't be further from the truth. I bought a few of these rolls. I bought a couple lots and I opened them up a bunch of common dates, coins that were pretty much clean, destroyed, damaged, corroded. I literally could go down to the bank and buy a roll of Lincoln cents and have better luck than I did on eBay's. You know, don't get me wrong, I hear people tell me, they'll say it, man, I bought this roll and I got this nice coins, I'm happy with it. You know, these were nice coins, these were nice Morgan dollars. Great, if you got a good roll, one out of a million, I'm, I'm happy for you. But there are literally, I would say millions that have done this, or hundreds of thousands anyway, and they weren't so lucky. Because it's basically going down to the convenient mark, buying you a lottery ticket or a scratch off and scratching it off, hoping that you win the big prize. Most people don't because these lots are not the people that sell these lots. Don't make their money on people finding good coins. It goes against math. You have to think about the math here. If a lot of people were finding good coins in these unsearched rolls, these unsearched lots, these guys wouldn't be in business. They can't stay in business selling better coins for less than what they would go for if they had them graded. In other words, you see these coins, we can scroll down through and you see an end coin here. It's a one finny. I can get one finnings all the time. So there's an Indian head on the one side. I mean, we can click on it here and take a look at it. See the original listing. You know, why did that go for that much? Because it looked interesting. I mean, it doesn't look unsearched to me. That does not look unsearched to me. That looks opened. I mean, it's been smashed on the end. Someone, you know, jammed it on the end. I bet you inside this is a bunch of common coins. Whoever got that's not going to come out and say it. Most people don't leave feedback. And, you know, like I said, you can go look at their feedback. But what you don't want to do, don't pay attention to their positive. Look at their negative. Don't buy shotgun rolls from the scam artist. Rolls are staged and worthless. Most people don't want to admit when something happens or when they get a feedback like that, they'll start making some, putting some better stuff in the rolls so that they can keep their feedback. A lot of them will practically beg you to revise your feedback or to put good feedback and that they didn't know the rolls weren't unsearched. They'll try everything in the world to get you to not leave bad feedback for them. I, I've been through it. I've seen it too many times. It's just a game. That's all it is. And it's not a game that you want to play with. You know, there are ways to get unsearched rolls and we'll talk about that, but it's very difficult. Getting unsearched rolls is almost like finding key dates. You got to be, you got to do a lot of research. You got to have some knowledge. You got to know what you're doing. And here's another one. It's got a flying eagle on one end and a 1874 Indian head on the other. An 1874 Indian head is a decent coin. It's not rare, but in certain grades it can be. The flying eagle is not either. This one didn't go too crazy, but if you've got all kinds of cleaned or modern or common coins in the middle of this, then it's not going to be worth that price. 
you can get both those coins for about 20 bucks a piece and someone paid way over you know when you consider that but they wanted a chance you're buying a chance when you take and buy these rolls like this I mean you can go down through it it's the same thing here you, know, you keep going and you can look and just rolls that you know roll of wheats that sell for 10 bucks you're basically paying 20 cents a piece you know and I see it all the time I mean you can put, buy them cheaper than that from dealers at coin shows. You can go to your dealer's coin shops and buy them cheaper than that. You know, this is realistic. You know, dollar, they let it go on the bid, but then look at the how much it, the shipping is. $4.49 to ship. It doesn't cost that much to ship. So you gotta watch that as well. And here's what I was talking about. 20 cents a piece. How do they know there's 1930 to 39 wheats in this? If it's unopened and unsearched, you can't know that. How can you make that claim? You can say 1909 to 1958, maybe, but then how do you still know if there's just wheats in there? This is just some of the things that bother me about these. Because you can scroll down and you just keep looking and looking and, and look at the ends of these rolls. And, you know, these look crimped. But the bottom line is that you can do that yourself. Anybody can crimp rolls. Here's half dollars, 1948, Lincoln's wheat rolls. You just, you got to watch. A lot of these are buy it nows. You know, you can, on occasion, get lucky and a seller that, just trying to sell off some coins they got left to them. Uh, they can actually uh, list them and you can buy them. But these guys are in business. I mean, you can check their feedback and see that they're doing this on a regular basis. They're doing what everybody else does. You can look down through and you can see here's some negatives. Not very many, but you know you can look down and see how many unsearched uh, rolls or rolls that they're searching. You can see that if they do it on a regular basis that you know, they're not somebody that's just sticking a roll up. And that's how you're going to get an unsearched roll, is from somebody who doesn't do it for a living, who doesn't sell on a regular basis. That's how you're going to get those. You know, the, the only chance of getting unsearched rolls is from a collection, or unsearched coins in general. It's from a collection that someone just threw their change back for years, uh, didn't look through it. And you know that, and then even at that, I've had a lot of collections come in the door that we uh, appraised and, and purchased that had coins from circulation, but it also had books where they had filled up uh, certain dates. So they were looking through for dates. So I knew that when I looked through, they had rolls and rolls. I knew there wasn't going to be any key dates or better dates in them because they were pulling them and putting them in their albums. And that's another thing you look for. If someone uh, very rarely you're going to find unsearched rolls. Uh, original rolls, you know, there were certain times that they didn't even wrap like silver dollars. I mean, they didn't put them in rolls. They put them in bags. Rolls is a new thing. Rolls came about, you know, when they had them at the banks. And here's some more uh, unsearched rolls that people are trying to sell, you know, half dollars. They'll, they'll put a good coin on the end and make it look like you're going to get something special. And they're calling them unsearched. These are modern rolls. These were wrapped recently. It doesn't matter what they say. Unsearched. I just, you know, I guess my thing is, is they buy a big bag of this from whatever dealer and they crimp them up randomly and they can say they didn't search them. That doesn't mean they're unsearched. That's just, that doesn't even count. Okay. So you didn't search it. It doesn't mean that it's unsearched. It shouldn't even be allowed to sell as unsearched. Bank sealed. Are they bank sealed? I mean, you know, you don't know. I mean, th you can buy these wrappers yourself. You know, that's the whole point here. You, you know, it, this this is not too, I mean, this is okay as far as these are concerned, but I, I just don't fall for it. I'm not going to do it because you're still going to pay more for these. That's why they're rolled up like this. That's why they're selling them like this. You're going to pay more for these rolls than you would if you went out and went to the bank and got them yourself or went to a dealer. Here's another one, and this is the one that, baffles me more than anything it seems morgan dollar key dates and lincoln cents key dates are the most used to salt the end of a roll in other words you can put a comma date 82 83 84 cc on one end of a roll and then on the other end you can put an 1885 o and put it up on ebay and people will literally want to take the chance of thinking they're going to get an 85 cc do you know how much that's worth in Mint State? And what if you think, I mean, some people think there's more and they bid like crazy thinking they're getting a roll of CCs. Do you know how much a roll of CCs is worth? I mean, if it's just Mint State, 
you're talking 200 and up a piece. A, a Mint State 1885cc, 600 bucks. $400, I mean, it just depends on which Mint State it is, 60 to 63. There's no way in the world any dealer is going to get a hold of a roll of CCs, of potential CCs, and not crack them open and send them off. That's that's ludicrous. I mean, you can't, it's just, it would not happen. Okay, and these guys do this all the time. Here's a perfect example. It's at $1,400, folks. 16 bids at $1,400. They put a CC on both ends. And people are taking a chance. They can get a whole roll of CCs. I mean, we can do the math. Common date CCs. You can typically get them for under $200 sometimes, but let's just do $200. I mean, we, we can do it in our heads, but let's just do it this way. That's four grand. You know, this roll probably won't go for that much, but let's say it's a roll with two CCs. Let's do this, 200 plus 200. So that's your two CCs in the roll. Let's say the rest of them, which is 18 coins, are, you know, modern, let's say $30 a piece, right so we do 30 times 18 plus the 400 940 dollars it's already at 1400 i mean so literally they're already overpaying for this roll it, it need if it stopped right now they've overpaid for this roll i'll guarantee you there's not more cc's in that roll and i'll guarantee you the cc's are common date cc's and this is the problem people are making this mistake I want to also point out that I have guides on how to buy unsearched rolls, uh, what you need to know about unsearched rolls on my website. Uh, you know, I just go over some facts, you know, how coins become unsearched, you know, the possibilities, you know, and just some details on it. I wrote this article, it's in depth article. I'm not going to read the whole thing here for the video to make the video way too long, but I do recommend that you go to coinauctionshelp.com and type in unsearched rolls and this will come up um, you know I'll put a link in the description but then you know, here's some other things you know buying them uh, buying unsearched lots and collections you know sellers feedback auction descriptions this is all stuff that I've experienced firsthand and it will help you a whole lot and you just want to watch out for all this stuff and you know so just look through those I've got other rolls buy unsearched rolls the schemes and scams the salted in rolls you're not going to put a 1909 S VDB in, in a roll and just let it go you know, you're not, you do that for a reason. You do it so people think they're going to get better date coins in that roll. And most of them, I mean, I've actually had someone walk in the door with Indian cents on the ends. And it was five rolls. And I, we knew that in, in between those two Indian cents on both ends was going to be a bunch of common date Lincoln wheats. And it was. They weren't rolls of Indian cents. They thought they were buying rolls of Indian cents. I've just seen it too many times. I know the scams. I know it's fraud. I know that they're playing around with words, you know, so just stay away from them. You know, the best thing to do, like I said, you know, you can talk to dealers and say, man, if you get any unsearched, could I buy them? And more than likely, you're good looking for modern unsearched rolls. Those are going to be your original rolls. You're not going to get unsearched Morgan rolls. You're not going to get great key dates and a bunch of uh, wheat cents. People that rolled them up, people that were collecting, they, they were looking for those dates. You know, I'm not saying every 100% every time, but I'm just saying that for the most part, 99% of the time, yes, they were. And here's some more you can look through. I got another article here. I've got one. Um, don't get ripped off by an unsearched lots. You know, it's in-depth information on my website. Um, is my coin roll really unsearched? This explains how they recrimp and they can crimp these rolls. Some examples of rolls that uh, are crimped or messed with. And just kind of goes through some details and, and a little bit of math on the chances of finding certain dates. So I do recommend, like I said, coinoxyshelp.com and look through these. This is so you don't get ripped off buying these rolls. I mean, I hate to discourage people, but really I like to see all these unsearched roll sellers on eBay just put out of business. Uh, it's just, it's gotten ridiculous. You know, and all it is is just a way of just defrauding people of more money because they want to say their rolls are unsearched or they put good rolls on the end. Anybody can do this. I mean, it's, you know, and you know good and well inside those rolls are not that good of coins. So anyway... I hope this helped you a little bit. Um, I do want to let you also know I have um, how many rolls are in a roll of coins, basically for each denomination. Also, the melt values for those. You know, if you want to stop in a website there and take a look. But 
you know, please uh, like, share, and comment, and have a great day.